welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing to you our Tada Diorama Heart Window Add-on and also our Tada Diorama Grassy Hillside Inserts. Both of these dies are add-ons to our interactive Tada Diorama die. It gives you a whole new cool window shaped opening and some new inserts that you can use or mix and match with the previous inserts as well. So first up, we're gonna take a look at the Tada Diorama Heart Window add-on. You can see that it gives you a cute little heart window shape and a fun banner and some adorable little butterflies that can add to a new look for your Tada Diorama. And to get this heart-shaped window opening, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this main piece from the Tada Diorama and die cut it. And then instead of using the original rectangular shaped window that we have right here, you can see how that would look. You're gonna now use that awesome new Tada Diorama heart window add-on. So we're gonna layer that heart window in there instead of using the rectangular one that the original die came with. And so this is just gonna give us a new window shape that's just gonna look amazing. So we're gonna hold that in place with some low tack tape and then we'll run it through the die cut machine. And you'll see that you not only get the stitched heart opening, but you also get a stitched heart that you could use on any other project as well. You could even use this stitched tart to create a window just on a standard card too. Now here are the cute little butterflies that it comes with and you'll see that there's these little score lines in the center of the butterfly that are going to give you a place to fold the butterfly's wings and also a place to add the bodies of the butterflies. So we're just going to add some adhesive onto these and you can just layer those right into the center of the butterfly and these are just so cute for adding onto your scenes either inside the diorama or on the outside of the diorama. The heart window add-on also has this really great curved banner with a stitch detail that is the perfect size for adding onto your Tada dioramas. Now here is a look at the grassy hillside inserts. I love these because you can use them on their own or you can mix and match them with the other hillside inserts or with the insert that comes with the Tada diorama. And so right now we're gonna go ahead and take out some of these pieces and we've just pre-made some pieces cause we'll be making a Tada diorama in just a little bit. But we wanted to show you how to add in these grassy hillside inserts. So you're gonna fold along the little score lines that the die creates for you on either side of the insert. And then you're just gonna add them right in into your Tada diorama and then you open up those little folds to help secure them in place. And so now we'll repeat the same thing. We fold it along those little score lines. We're gonna add our hillsides in and open them up to hold them. And now you can see how cute those little grassy hillsides are in Tada dioramas. And then here is a look at what it looks like when you add the heart window add-on to it. And I am just in love with the surprise of looking through that heart-shaped window. Oh my goodness. And I love those grassy hillsides too. And I love that I can mix and match everything. So I could use the grassy hillsides with the rectangular opening. I can use it with the heart-shaped opening or just mix and match all the different styles. It's so much fun. And then here is a look at what it looks like when you layer those cute little butterflies on. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. So let's go ahead and start creating with this die. So first up, we're gonna take out some wood grain paper here, which has such a beautiful detail. And we're gonna take out our Tada diorama and we're gonna be using that main base piece and we're gonna die cut this wood grain cardstock. Then we're gonna take out our Tada diorama heart-shaped window add-on. Oh my goodness, look at that heart, it's so cute. And we're gonna layer that right into the Tada diorama. We can hold that in place with some low-tech tape and then we'll run it through the die cut machine and we're gonna have that perfect heart-shaped window inside of our Tada diorama piece. Then here we have some of our fruit salad paper. And so we're gonna be picking out the pretty kind of neutral gingham here. And we're gonna be die cutting the side panels from this. And we're gonna die cut two of those panels. Then we're gonna use the little slot creator piece. And you'll see that it has kind of like a little foot there. You're gonna point the foot towards the bigger side of the Tada diorama. So you'll see there's some score lines there that make kind of three little panels. That foot is gonna to point towards the bigger side. So same here, you're gonna put that little foot piece right in between the two score lines and it's gonna be pointed towards the bigger side of the Tada diorama. And if you've never made a Tada diorama before, make sure to check out our intro Tada diorama for more detailed instructions. We will link it in the description description below. So we've run these through the die cut machine and we now have our slots in perfect placement and we're going to use that main base piece again and we're going to die cut some watercolor wishes paper and this is going to be the back of our Tada diorama. Then the last thing that we need to do is we're going to use those brand new Tada diorama grassy hillside inserts and so we're going to be die cutting those from some watercolor wishes paper as well so that everything coordinates really beautifully.
Next, we're going to fold along the score lines that the die created for us on each of these side panel pieces. And we're going to take a bone folder and just reinforce those folds so that it has a nice sharp crease. So we're going to fold against that one and that one there. And you'll see how those are looking now. Now we're going to add adhesive to the smallest little panel there. Um, and we're just going to add that right on. We're going to fold our piece in half and then we're going to line it up with the outside edge of the Tada diorama, centering it between the top and bottom. You'll see a little bit's going to peek out in the top and bottom. That's exactly how you want it to look. And then we're going to repeat the same thing with the other piece. So we're going to add adhesive there uh, to the right of that score line on that kind of smallest panel. And then we're going to fold the whole thing in half and we're actually just going to line it up. We're going to butt it right up against the other one so that they line up perfectly and then we can just press down and secure that in place. The next thing that we're going to work on is these little bands that are going to be these slots that the side panels are going to go through on our heart shaped window piece. So we've die cut it from the same wood grain cardstock and each of these pieces has a little score line at the top and bottom so we're going to fold along the score lines on both of them. Then we're going to add some adhesive to those tabs that we just folded and we're going to line this up on the back of that heart shaped window piece and you'll see that there's a little rounded notch on these little bands. We're going to line it up with the little rounded notch on the heart shaped window and so we'll line up the other side as well just like that just kind of eyeballing it there in the center. And then we're going to bring back our piece that has the side panels on it and we're going to be adding our grassy hillside inserts to there. So we're going to fold along those little score lines that the die created for us on either side of the grassy hillside insert piece. And then we're going to fit it through the back slot and then you're going to open up those little tabs to help secure it and then we'll fit through the other side and then open up the tabs to secure that as well. And then we can repeat the same thing with our other grassy hillside. So we'll fold back along those little tabs on either side and then we're going to fit them in and we're going to open it up and secure them in place. Now it's time to add that heart shaped window opening. So we're going to take those side panels and we're going to feed them through those bands that we added to the back of that window. So we can do that on the right side and then the left side and that's going to secure our window opening right on there and give it also the awesome moving of the ta-da diorama. So you get that fun surprise there with the heart shaped window. Oh my goodness, it's just so cute. And now we're going to start decorating this. And this card here is a combination of a card by Marine and a card by Callie. So we were inspired by both of their cards to create this one. And one of the things I loved was how Marine colored all of the leaves in such fun colors with the yellow and the green and the turquoise with the porcupine for you stamp set. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our cute little hugging porcupines. We're going to add some adhesive along the bottom and then we're going to stick them on to the back grass piece and they are just going to look so cute in there. Look at that. Is that not just the cutest thing with the little heart framing them? Oh, oh my goodness. And so now we're going to start working on decorating with everything else that we have in the set. So we're going to add um, a cute little snail onto a stump and and then we can add that into our grassy hill. And then we can start to layer those cute little leaves onto these trees. And I, I just think those colors are just so much fun. Uh, this is just so fun. It feels so woodsy and just adorable. So we're going to start layering those all onto the trees. And then the trees are going to kind of help frame this cute little scene. So we're going to start by adding some of the trees to both the inside and the outside. And by doing that, that's going to give us a ton of dimension on this card. So right now we have one of the trees in, completely in the background. And we're going to add some in the foreground. But First up, we're going to take some more of that watercolor wishes paper and we're going to die cut this with our grassy border die. And this little grass piece is going to go along the front underneath the heart and that's going to kind of help give a place for our trees to be hanging out on the front. So we'll add some tape runner onto that and then we can layer that onto the front of this card design. And there's something that's so cute about the grass kind of peeking up over that heart shaped window. Then we can start adding the trees to the front and you'll see when we have the trees in the front and also in the back, you just get more of that kind of three dimensional feel of a Tada diorama card. And I think this is looking so cute already. I love the gingham paper showing through on the heart and the trees framing it. It kind of gives you an idea that something really cute might be inside. 
Now before we keep decorating, we are going to start working on our sentiment and we're going to be using that stitched banner die that comes with the heart shaped window and I think I'm going to be using this banner die on so many cards. It's just like the perfect length and I love the stitching detail on it. And so we're going to die cut some chocolate bar cardstock here and then we're going to take a sentiment from the Porcupine for You and we are going to curve that to match our awesome curved shape of our banner. Then we're going to stamp it in some clear embossing ink and then we're gonna sprinkle over some white heat embossing powder and then we can heat it up with our heat tool and we'll have a nice bright white shiny sentiment and I just love that sentiment, you're so pork cute pine. And so now we can just add some tape runner to the back of this cute little sentiment and we're gonna layer that into our grass there. And then we're gonna add those adorable little mushrooms. I mean, look at this all around, kind of anchoring the sentiment down. And once again, just giving this like cute pop of color. I just think these are just adorable. They're really fun on top of and behind the banner. Oh my goodness, look at that, so cute. So the last finishing touch that we're gonna add is we're gonna use the little butterflies that come with the heart window add-on. And we're gonna be using some of this What's Sewing On paper because it's gonna give them a nice soft look, but also the little patterns in the pattern paper are just gonna look beautiful with them. And so we'll add some adhesive to the butterfly bodies and then layer them on the inside. And then we're gonna layer those cute little butterflies on the inside of the card and on the outside. We're also gonna take a card that's the size of the Tada diorama, exactly, so it's gonna be this cute little mini card. We've added some tape runner to that, and then we're gonna layer the whole interactive mechanism right on top. And what I love about the Tada diorama is that it folds completely flat, but then you get the big Tada surprise with the cute little seed on the inside. One of the other things that I really love about the Tada diorama is that it folds flat and it fits in a standard envelope with standard postage. And here I'm gonna close this up and seal it with a piece of one of our new washi tapes. This mushroom washi tape is the cutest and it's so perfect for any Porcupine For You card. And now here you can see, you can pull the Tada diorama out of the envelope and Tada, you get the awesome three dimensional look of a Tada diorama interactive card with the heart shaped window and those cute grassy inserts. And how sweet is this for the Porcupine For You stamp set. Oh, I love this card so much. It just makes me smile. And next up, Shari is going to be creating another adorable Tada diorama. So take it away, Shari. For my Tada diorama card today, I am using the Porcupine For You stamp set, as well as some images from the Porcupine For You add-on set. I've already colored all my images and cut them out with the coordinating dies, and I'll just set those aside while I work on my Tada diorama. I am using the new Tada Diorama Grassy Hillside inserts for my card today, and I have cut these from some cilantro cardstock. I'm using some Lucky Clover Distress Oxide ink and a blending brush to just add some darker green to the top of the grass. And I just think that this makes it stand out a bit more. I will also be adding some texture with some watercolor splatters. And I'm using a dark green watercolor paint to do this. Once I have my splatter texture the way I want it, I'll set these aside to dry so that I can move on and work on the other parts of my Tada diorama card. I'm going to start with those two pieces that you pull from the left and the right first. And I'm cutting this from some Spiffier Speckles gnome paper so we get that really fun foiled splatter. For the background, I'm using a piece of Spiffy Speckles in Robin Egg. And then for the frame on the front, I'll be using this favorite flannel dark blue paper. For the front, I need to cut the same as the back, but also cut the frame out of the inside. So I'll just use some removable tape to hold these in place and run that through my die cut machine. And now I have that frame that will fit perfectly on the background. Now I do need to cut the little slots that go in these two sides and that is where these two little kind of boot shaped pieces come in. You wanna make sure the arrows are pointed towards the bottom, line it up with the bottom of the paper and have that little toe pointing towards the panel that will be on the front. Now that I have my little slots cut, I can work on these pieces because I am going to do some stenciling. So I'm going ahead and folding on the score lines and I'm sticking these down onto my grip mat in the way that you will see them when they are closed. 
To hold these down, I am going to put a little bit of removable adhesive just to hold those flaps down while I do my stenciling. I'm putting these together like this so that my stenciling looks continuous across both panels. And you can see I am placing it so that one of the hearts crosses over the panels where they come together in the center. I'm using some guava ink and a blending brush to just add a layer of these hearts to this pattern paper. The foil will resist the ink and we'll still see that fun gold foil through the inking. Now I can pull this away and you'll see this really fun heart pattern that I added to this spiffier speckle paper. I am darkening up the edges just a little bit to give it a little more texture going on and then I will pull these off of this grip mat you'll kind of see how they're going to operate there as I pulled them off. And I'll just set those aside. Now to work on the frame, I have the two little pieces that will create slots for the front panels to slide through. I just cut these from some white cardstock and I'm going to fold on the little score lines that the die creates. Once I have these folded, I can add some adhesive to those little tabs. Then I'll fold them under and then I'll line up the little notch with the notch in the frame and stick these down to each side of the back of this frame. So again, I'm just adding some adhesive to the little tabs, folding them under, and then lining up the notch so that these end up in the right spot on the back of the frame. Now I need to add these little pull pieces to the background. And you wanna add adhesive just to that small piece in the back between the fold line and the edge. Line it up with the left edge of this background piece and you can see that it will stop short and it will be just inside the stitching line. Then you can do the same on the right by bumping the two edges together so they meet in the middle and adhering that down. And I was just removing my removable adhesive that I had put in there to hold the panels flat when I was stenciling. Now I want to start to add the inside pieces. So I'm going ahead and adding that little card to my little porcupine's hands. And then I will put him on one of these hillsides that will go in the inside of my Tada diorama. I am putting him kind of towards the left. He will be on the piece that is in the back so I can add him a little closer to the edge. But for the front, I want to make sure my images are a bit more centered. So for the little one, I'll be putting him kind of just right of center. He's pretty short, so he's not gonna cause a problem with the movement of the mechanism. I'm also adding a few other little images to this front piece so that it is a little more decorated. So I've got that tiny little mushroom and then I have a little leaf that I'm going to add as well. Now I can put these inside my Tada diorama and I like to fold my tabs towards me versus behind. And this is just because I find it easier to kind of push them down and work them through the slot. It doesn't really matter which way you fold them because eventually they're going to get flattened out on the other side. So I can hold my little tabs down, work it through the slot, and then open them back up once I get it through. I'm going to go ahead and add the little outlined clouds. This is part of the Tada Diorama die set, but I'm adding these before I put that other insert in there. I did want to see where the big porcupine kind of landed on this piece before I added the clouds so that I could kind of see where to put them. This will just fill the sky behind him. So I have the big cloud and the little cloud, and then I added some little hearts. I cut these with the dies from the Hearts and Stars skinny tag die from some guava cardstock. And I usually keep a stash of these, but I've used them all up, but now I have a bunch more cut out that I can add to my little stash that I keep on my desk. Now that that background is all in place, I'm going to go ahead and fold the little tabs down and add my other insert. So I'm gonna slide it through the slot and open up the tabs on the other side. Then I will do the same on this side. 
and both of them are in there nicely. Now I can insert it onto the back of the frame. So I'm going to flip this over so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to slide this panel through that slot that I created and then I'll do the same thing on the other side. And now they're free to move in there and those slots will stop those panels and you can get this really cool diorama look. Now I also have all of these images. These are to decorate the outside of the frame. So it's time to add those to my little scene. I love how this tall tree just basically fills the whole side of the frame. And then I'm adding some of the little leaves from that stamp set to the tree. So I have the little clusters of leaves and also the single leaf. And once you add all those, it looks like a really nice spring tree. I also have these cute little mushrooms, which might be my favorite stamp in this set. I just think they're so cute. And then I also have this cute little porcupine. He's going to sit on this little stump and he is going to go on the right side of my frame, kind of looking into the diorama. I do want to make sure that I only put glue on the edges that will touch the frame and not any glue on the part that overhangs the side of the frame. I'm adding that little mushroom right there and then I like this little snail too. He may also be a favorite in this set. I used him a lot. And then here is that Tada diorama all put together with all the images, but I need to add a sentiment. So I'm using that little banner with the stitching detail and the sentiment This is thank you so mush. It fits right in there perfectly. And I will add this to the top right corner. Again, making sure that I only have the glue on the frame. I'm going to put it on the frame instead of the back of my banner. I am putting this onto a card base, so I want to put some pattern paper on my card base first. And this is just some paper from the What's Sewing On collection. I liked this color, it matched that sky blue in my diorama. And then I can add some glue to the back of the whole diorama. I am using liquid glue to do this, so I can kind of shift it around and make sure it's nice and lined up in the center of my card. So here is my finished card. You can pull those panels and ta-da, diorama. We get those cute little porcupines inside of our little scene. I just think they're adorable. And I love that we now have some grassy hillside inserts to add to our ta-da dioramas. Oh my goodness, Shari, this card is so super cute. I love the surprise of the porcupines on the inside, and I love that you can use the grassy inserts with the original window opening too. So everything mixes and matches in such a cool way. And now we have some incredible cards by the design team, and this card by Grace is so sweet. I love all the soft pinks, and when you open up the Tada diorama, you get the cutest little porcupine trying to find his butterflies in that heart-shaped window. I just think it's just adorable. This card here by Megan is so much fun. I love her stenciled hearts on the outside and as you open up the Tada diorama, you get these super cute little porcupines that look like they're running towards each other. I just love it so much. Here I love Audrey's idea. What she did was she used that Tada diorama heart window add-on to create a cute heart window on her card, which is such a fun way to feature her heart garden stencil and that little porcupine. I can't wait to try this too. This card here by Elena is just so pretty, and she used one of our brand new Happy Mushroom dies. I love the greenery on the front, and then the surprise of the adorable little mushrooms on the inside. Oh my goodness, it's just the cutest ever. This card here is so sweet. I love the stencil Pink Brick by Mindy, and as you open up the Tada diorama, she's actually added in our brand new foiled sentiment hot foil plate with the Happy Valentine's Day on the inside. Here is the Tada Diorama by Maureen that inspired us to make ours. I love the color palette that she did and look how fun this scene is on the inside. I love all of the trees everywhere. Oh my goodness, and the little porcupines on the front are so sweet. And then here is the card by Callie that inspired us to make ours. So it's so fun to be inspired by your crafty friends and I love the idea of combining two crafty friends ideas into one card and the little porcupines hugging is just so sweet.
This card by Rebecca is just adorable. I love the thanks for loving me sentiment with that new little banner that comes with the heart window. And on the inside, you can see our happy mushrooms and a little porcupine for you character. Oh my goodness, these are just so sweet. And then here you can see that Letitia layered the inside of that heart onto a radiant heart backdrop. And this card is just too sweet. So we cannot wait to see all of your Tada dioramas. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today. And I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.